Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about my mitochondrial restoration package which goes over several different vitamin infusion components and it's an aggressive protocol that's designed to rejuvenate the mitochondria. So in some of my other videos I discuss mitochondria but I want to start over discussing mitochondria and this package in general and in detail. So to start with, most disease, most human symptoms are because of mitochondrial dysfunction. The mitochondria is the tiny little organelle, the tiny little piece of your cell that makes the energy for for your cell. Your liver and other organs create nutrients and hormones to ship down the bloodstream, but every cell of your body is designed to make its own energy supply. That's much different than a car. I use the car as a metaphor, as an engine and the exhaust pipe and all that, but it's almost like every cell has its own engine in order to make its own energy. Nutrients come to it, but it's gonna make its own energy. So if the cell cannot make energy, if the mitochondria can't make energy for that cell, then ultimately that cell is dysfunctional and it shuts down its processes. So if that cell is located in the brain, then you have brain fog, depression, anxiety, some sort of brain dysfunction. If it's in the heart, then you might have an arrhythmia or um, chest pain or blood vessel disease. If it's in the liver, then you start detoxifying poorly and on and on and on. The, the mitochondria is the most important part of your cell because if you can't make energy, nothing will go right. The mitochondria both has to get nutrients in, process those nutrients and make energy out of it, but as it's processing that energy, it's actually making toxic metabolites, not toxins that you eat in your food or toxins that companies are dumping in the water. Your own body makes these toxins and your body must break down those toxins Everything that manufactures energy manufactures byproducts, and those byproducts must be detoxified in order to keep generating more energy. So this mitochondrial restoration protocol that I've put together is designed to regenerate the mitochondria from inside to out. And the way that works is in order for the mitochondria to generate energy, it has to have vitamins. Those main vitamins are B vitamins. There are other vitamins that are utilized, carnitine, uh, magnesium, fair, uh, iron, all kinds of other minerals that go into it. And we can't do all of them IV, but we try to get as many of them as we can in our infusion protocols. The, the rest you must get from your gut, which is why we always pair our IV protocols with gut restoration so that you can get the nutrients you need from food. So I'm gonna go through the main components that I put in the mitochondrial package, why we did them and how the theory of them works. So for starters, every, every protocol always starts with Myers and glutathione as its base. The Myers cocktail, I went over in one of my other videos, but just to kind of give you a demonstration, is this, this yellowish reddish color. And it's a, a cocktail of four different components. It's got a B complex, which is the whole B vitamin family. Um, it's got a B12, additional B12 in it. It's got vitamin C, 2,500 milligrams of vitamin C. And if you know anything about emergency and the other vitamin C doses, usually it's about 500 to 1,000 milligrams orally, but you don't get nearly that much when you consume it orally. So 2,500 milligrams IV is more like 25,000 orally. And then the last component is magnesium. And magnesium is one of the hardest elements for people to absorb. And humans, unfortunately, we urinate it out in times of stress and inflammation and dysfunction. So we frequently have people that have very low magnesium levels in the office, and that's why the IV magnesium works really well. So Myers cocktail is one of the bases to the mitochondrial restoration protocol. And in my 10 infusion package, I'm looking at my cheat sheet because I designed it a while back. Um, it is the single component in every one of the infusions. You get a Myers cocktail every time you do a mitochondrial package. In addition, you get glutathione with every single one. And in fact, the glutathione dose goes to double what we normally give people. Now, real quick, there are other infusion centers around town and around the nation that use glutathione, but the dose is really what, what makes the, the efficacy. So our glutathione is 200 milligrams per milliliter and we give 10 milliliters. Uh, I'm gonna go through this fast because not many people care, but if you do, here it is. Uh, so that's 2000 milligrams per dose that we normally give people. In my mitochondrial packages, we actually do double that. So we'll do 4,000 milligrams. And a normal human being, a normal healthy human being, makes about 14,000 milligrams per day. So this is a big boost to their glutathione production. So what is glutathione? Well, it's this clear syringe here that looks like just water, but I promise it is not water. Uh, this glutathione solution is a um, water-soluble antioxidant. It is the primary detoxifying agent that your body makes every day, and it is difficult to make. It requires absorption of proteins. It requires assimilation of those proteins by the liver, and whenever the liver is taxed, it starts running out of glutathione and bad things start to happen. It's one of the reasons, it is the reason that we die from Tylenol overdose. Tylenol burns up our glutathione, and once we burn up our glutathione, 
Tylenol enters a very small toxic pathway that becomes the dominant pathway when you run out of glutathione. Now, that's how important glutathione is because without glutathione, you die of other toxic chemicals and things. And so glutathione is heavily used in the brain. So people with neuropathy or nerve dysfunction, um, um, numbness of the face, we've had dramatic results with just using glutathione to reverse their um, neuropathy, nerve changes, um, neuropathy in the feet, diabetics that can't feel their toes or have burning and aching. Glutathione works really well to regenerate nerve function and improve um, symptoms. So glutathione is mainly a detoxifying agent. It, lo it locks itself onto um, toxins and then your body can effectively eliminate them. The toxins we struggle with eliminating the most are fat soluble toxins because fat soluble toxins like to stick to our fat and we can't get rid of those very well. But we're really good at getting rid of water soluble toxins because we can pee and poop and sweat them out. Well, glutathione is a water soluble molecule, which is why we can give it IV. So we give you this IV water soluble molecule and it attaches itself to toxins and things and then you can appropriately urinate or poop or sweat them out. So that's the big purpose behind, behind glutathione. I really can't spend enough time talking about glutathione because it is extremely important around the body. Um, um, you may know about methylation if you watch any of my other videos or know much about functional medicine. Methylation is critical to detoxification. What you may not know is the methylation cycle's main goal is to make glutathione. So if the methylation cycle is broken, you're not making enough glutathione. Now the methylation cycle has many other um, reasons to live. So you can't just give glutathione and not focus on methylation. You must do both. So that's why we include the Myers cocktail, because the Myers cocktail includes B vitamins, which support your methylation cycle and support your production of glutathione. And then we give you the extra glutathione so that your body doesn't have to make it. After glutathione is manufactured, it must be used. And in this utilization process, it can actually be regenerated. So one of the major components of our mitochondrial restoration package is actually alpha lipoic acid. This alpha lipoic acid nutrient is designed to reduce glutathione back into its active form so that it can continue detoxifying. So as the mitochondrial restoration package starts, you're getting plenty of Myers cocktail, which is B vitamins, in order to methylate and generate glutathione. We're giving you glutathione at increased increasing doses, double the normal dose that, that we give. And then when that's reaching its peak, then we're starting the addition of alpha lipoic acid. And as this alpha lipoic acid is going in, it's helping the glutathione get to work and get reworked and reused and reused in order to continue doing its job. So in essence, it's almost like a multiplier to glutathione. You're not only getting 2000 milligrams and 4000 milligrams of glutathione, but you're getting reutilization out of it. And you're getting to reutilize your own glutathione. So alpha Alpha lipoic acid is a key component. You may have seen alpha lipoic acid mentioned in its nerve regeneration properties and um, in its diabetes properties. Many people take alpha lipoic acid to help re uh, reduce their blood sugar. In fact, alpha lipoic acid can drop your blood sugar during the infusion, which is why either we administer it with sugar, um, or if we don't do it with sugar because you're on keto and you don't want the sugar IV, then we can do it with normal saline, but we just have to do it a little bit slower. The other thing that goes along with energy production and detoxification are always micronutrients. And micronutrients are difficult to measure. We measure them frequently in our practice with vitamin testing and whatnot. But micronutrients like zinc, selenium, manganese, molybdenum, all those funny sounding vitamins and minerals, those are trace minerals that your body um, may not have enough of to operate effectively. Especially if there's other heavy metals in the way like arsenic, mercury, lead, all those get in the way of magnesium, iron, and all the trace minerals. So one of the things we do in our mitochondrial protocol is we give you IV trace minerals because you may not be absorbing them. So these trace minerals is a com combination of selenium, zinc, uh, I forget all the stuff that's in there, but it's written on the vial. Um, so we give you those trace minerals in case you're not absorbing them from your gut. You can take a multivitamin until the cows come home, but if you can't absorb that multivitamin, then it's not getting into the system. So with the IV trace minerals, that makes sure that your body has those minerals to get um, in order to be effective. So that's part of the protocol in order to um, make energy and detoxify. The next component that arguably is one of the most important, although I will probably say that for every component, glutathione is the most important, but this is arguably the, the one that I, I find has the most benefit in regenerating the mitochondria. This little stuff is, is what I consider lipid therapy, although that's not an entirely true statement. So this little ampule or vial is filled with something called phosphatidylcholine and other similar molecules. 
And so the mitochondria, most people don't realize that the mitochondria has two cell walls. So if you think about your house as a cell wall, you, you, you want to keep things inside your house and you want to keep things outside your house. So you have walls in your house. Well, you have a mitochondria inside your house and that has its own cell wall to keep its contents inside. But inside that house, there's another wall. So basically what I'm trying to drive home is the mitochondria has two cell walls and that cell wall is very, very important in order to actually manufacture energy. It's actually that second wall, the wall within a wall that creates the energy gradient in order for your body to make the energy called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which you may have heard of if you've been doing enough reading, but that's getting really nerdy. The most important thing you need to know is that your mitochondria has two cell walls and that cell wall is really important. In another video I did specifically about the mitochondria and fibromyalgia, I pointed out how those cell walls can become toxic and damaged and they're rendered um, ineffective. So the idea behind using phosphatidylcholine is we're giving your body new heads to the cell wall. So every cell wall is made up of a head and two tails and there's tons of those that make this whole lining all around it that is the cell wall. And so what we do by giving you this phosphatidylcholine is we're giving your body new heads to grab fatty acids and regenerate your cell walls. You always have fatty acids roaming your bloodstream. You're eating them. Hopefully you're eating healthy fats. So the idea is that when you give, when we give phosphatidylcholine or this fancy little ampule to you, your, the phosphatidylcholine roams through your body, grabs onto healthy fats that you've been eating, and then attaches it to new cell walls. And those cells can finally get rid of their old dysfunctional cell components and regenerate. This is one of the reasons why sweating is so important. Many people, everyone knows that sweat is water and, and, and electrolytes, but what most people don't know is that sweating actually includes cellular debris. Sweating is one of the few ways that your body is releasing water and electrolytes and water soluble toxins, but it's actually taking a portion of its cell and lopping it off and putting it in the sweat. It's one of the reasons why sweat smells so bad is because there's cellular debris in that sweat. There's also other things in it, but that's one of the reasons why it smells. So sweating is an important way to detoxify and it's an important way to regenerate your cell walls. So in this mitochondrial protocol, that this tiny little vial is one of the most important parts. In fact, it's so important that at the higher doses, you will get 10 of these ampules infused into you. And the idea is that phosphatidylcholine is roaming all through your blood supply everywhere and it's regenerating those mitochondria but you know what else it's regenerating? It's regenerating the brain. Many people get hyper-focused and improved um, ADD symptoms, reduction in brain fog with phosphatidylcholine, and that makes sense. Why? Because the brain is 60% fat. It is the fattiest organ that we have other than our actual fat. It is the fattiest organ. And so when you infuse this phosphatidylcholine, it affects all things that are fatty and the brain is one of the fattiest organs. So when you infuse that phosphatidylcholine, you start regenerating brain cells and neurons and, and um, axons and the brain is able to fire more effectively. So once again, the phosphatidylcholine or essential N is, is what it's called. We order this stuff from like the Ukraine or something, which is why it's not English on the box. And um, it's made by Sanofi, which is a, um, it's a pharmaceutical company we have in America. So that's the phosphatidylcholine is designed to regenerate anything with a, a cell wall, which is primarily mitochondria and every cell in your body, but the brain and liver are the other two that have a huge benefit with phosphatidylcholine. And so that's yet another component. We're speeding up the liver, helping with detoxification. A better, the better you detoxify, the more energy you can make. So we're not done yet. The mitochondrial protocol has one more component. And this protocol, I may have mentioned it before, is a 10-step series. And we've got it created to where each infusion is technically a little bit different. One component raises and then lowers. Another component raises and lowers. And it's designed to make sure that your body can tolerate each component as it's added. The last component I'm going to talk about is actually my favorite. It's probably not the most important, but it's, the, it's my favorite because quite frankly, it makes me feel pretty good when I get it. So this final one is called sodium phenyl butyrate. It's a, it's a mouthful, but this one is fascinating to me because I like to nerd out on sodium phenyl butyrate. So when we first started using sodium phenyl butyrate, we were reading the articles and finding out that it was helping with this fatty cell membrane that we, we talked about. What was fascinating, even more fascinating that it was helping the cell membrane like the phosphatidylcholine is that where butyrate is made, it's not made by humans. It's actually made by the bacteria in your bowels. So if you have a healthy microbiome, you have healthy bacteria. These healthy bacteria live on the fiber that you eat. 
Well, if you're not eating the fiber, you don't have these bacteria, which is one reason you will have brain fog. So if you're eating fiber and you have a healthy microbiome, you have these healthy bacteria that are digesting the fiber and turning it into butyrate. This butyrate then goes to your brain and regenerates cell walls. We don't actually know all the things butyrate does, but we know that butyrate is good and it helps in dementia. It's one of the things we believe reverses dementia. And um, opposite, if you have an unhealthy microbiome, you have bad bacteria that are eating the fiber and turning it into dangerous things like propionic acid. And propionic acid is shown to cause anxiety and irritability and brain dysfunction and, and, and brain fog. So it's, it's wild that we can give you this IV component, which is not made by humans, and bacteria are the ones that make it. So when you get this component and your brain feels wide awake and firing on all cylinders, that component came from bacteria or is not coming from bacteria because your gut isn't healthy. So sodium phenylbutyrate, the theory behind how it works right now, and I, I, this video will probably be out of date um, at some point because we're still learning about butyrate. But the idea of how butyrate works is we talked about the cell walls being um, a fatty layer and that fatty layer can be damaged over time and you have to regenerate those cell walls. Well, the idea behind butyrate is that those fats that are stuck in the cell wall, you can create rogue fats or really long chain fats that are inappropriate, but they're stuck in the cell wall and you can't exactly get them out. Well, this butyrate is said to go in there and kind of chop up those rogue long chain fatty acids that are too long and inappropriate. And when you chop them up, it just gives your body the ability to get rid of them so that it can regenerate a new one. The way I like to think of it, and I don't know if this is true, but it makes sense to me, so I like it is that if you have a house, like we talked about, and you have walls to your house, if the walls to your house are too thick, then it's gonna cover your front door and your doors and your entry, and that means you can't get groceries inside. Moreover, once you get, if you have any groceries inside, you can't get the trash outside because your walls are too thick, you can't even get in and out. So the idea behind the sodium phenylbutyrate is it makes fluid cell walls to your cells so that your cells can get nutrients in, and then it can also get toxic products out. We've, we're constantly in a state of turnover. And so whenever turnover is frozen, whenever you can't manufacture new cell walls or get rid of old cell walls, the thing's gonna get decrepit. And that's just like with any house, you have to keep up to date, you have to clean it, you have to keep everything moving. So those are the general components to the mitochondrial package. Once again, this is a 10 phase protocol that goes through um, different components. And um, each, each month or each, each week, they're, they're different components. We usually recommend these are done once a week and you just follow the protocol one through 10 um, in order to regenerate the mitochondria. If you are very dysfunctional, if you have severe brain fog and fatigue, most people don't really notice benefit until your fourth or fifth infusion. Some people notice it right after the first one and that means that you're, you're closer to healing, you're closer to repair, maybe your gut's in better shape. But it's not uncommon for the, our sickest patients to do the mitochondrial package and, re, and it may not feel better until their fourth or fifth one. With one of the consults, uh, with one of our doctors, myself included, we can give you an idea of when you can expect to see benefit with these. Uh. So those are the general components to the mitochondrial package. Once again, this is a 10 phase protocol that goes through um, different components and um, each, each month or each, each week, they're, they're different components. We usually recommend these are done once a week and you just follow the protocol one through 10 um, in order to regenerate the mitochondria. If you are very dysfunctional, if you have severe brain fog and fatigue, most people don't really notice benefit until your fourth or fifth infusion. Some people notice it right after the first one, and that means that you're, you're closer to healing, you're closer to repair, maybe your gut's in better shape. But it's not uncommon for the, our sickest patients to do the mitochondrial package, and, re, and it may not feel better until their fourth or fifth one. With one of the consults, uh, with one of our doctors, myself included, we can give you an idea of when you can expect to see benefit with these. So that summarizes our mitochondrial restoration package. If you're interested, leave a comment, ask a question, and I will try to get back to you. And if you're interested in doing one of our mitochondrial restoration packages, then feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 512-829-1104, or you can email us at admin at oobmedical.com. And of course, you can go to our website, www.oobmedical.com, that's O-U-B-R-E, and um, send a, a contact to us through the website. Bye.